search tip one, phrase searching or quotation marks. For this example, we are going to begin with the EBSCOhost database. The best way to search the EBSCO database is to scroll down and select Explore our Secondary Schools. If our topic is junk food in schools, we might want to start with a general search and just see what is out there about junk food. This search gives us the results of 9,344. That might be too many for us to search for, so we're going to try a few different things to limit or expand the search. So we might try quotation marks. This ensures that the phrase junk food is going to stay together in the search. We won't have the word junk in the first line and food in the last line of the article. All of the articles in the search will have the word junk food together. So we are only looking for an exact match. So now our results have gone down to only 8,809. And this may still be too many results to search through. So if our topic is junk food in schools, this is an example of how you do not want to search for it. Junk Food in Schools gives us 1,000 articles. So we have definitely limited our search to something that's more specific to what we are looking for. However, we again want to make sure that junk food stays together. We would not do junk food in schools because not every author is going to use this phrase in their writing. This only gives us 123 results, which might be a good way to start. But the best way to do this search is to look for junk food together and then our more specific topic of schools within that search. So now instead of 123 results, we have 685 results that all have junk food together in the search, but also include the topic of schools. That is search tip one, phrase searching or quotation marks.